Now, Ken's 5 Eyewitness News at 5. Deborah cannot guarantee the city or county will pay you, though. Thousands of babies born every year with cleft palate. How a procedure here is catching... Children born with a birth defect called cleft palate often have to endure surgery after surgery. Now dozens of babies are being treated in San Antonio with a less invasive approach that's catching on around the country. Here's Ken's Five's Wendy Rigby with more. Oh, look how much that's closed. Once a week at UT Health Science Center's dental school, Dr. Timothy Henson sees moms and babies who need his help. He uses a technique called nasal alveolar molding. In essence, the dentist forms a plastic device to help close the gap created by the cleft palate birth defect. It works sort of like a retainer. It's basically uh, taking a child with a cleft of the lip and the gums and the palate and repositioning the gum segments together prior to the surgery. Without this intervention, these babies face 10 to 12 surgeries. With the mold, doctors can usually correct it with only two surgeries. Oh, I know. Karen Fisher brings her daughter Savannah here each week from Los Angeles. You feel like you're inflicting so much pain on them, you know, so it, it is hard as a mom. You want to take her and say, no, you can't hurt my baby, you know, but you know, it's for for the best. But everything is all lined up perfectly. Cleft palate is not uncommon, occurring once in every 700 live births. This little girl has already had her surgery and you can see the difference the therapy makes is amazing. This is the most gratifying thing that I do as a pediatric dentist. <laughs> to make a difference in a child's life at this early, early stage is just extremely gratifying. Although the molding technique is not standard of care yet, it's quickly becoming more widely used. Dr. Henson has helped more than 200 babies over the last seven years. Reporting live, Wendy Rigby, Ken's Five, Eyewitness News. I think those kids would be more grateful, all that crying. 